Hello. Um, no music, no uh, little gadgets from traders, nothing, because I have some serious business to talk to you about. And I've already recorded this, and I did Trader Joe's stuff and spices and, and a little... I might even read my word of the day, but I'm not going to do cards or anything, um, because I want to get down and dirty. I have some really important information for you. Um, I use my laptop. And then I noticed I have a computer, an HP computer, that's sharing my hard drive. I don't know how that works, <laughs> but I'm not able to load it up to uh, YouTube. And so um, I got some savvy people. So I, I, first of all, have missed a lot of holidays, so happy Memorial Day. I was so proud to be John Hay Whitney's daughter this Memorial Day. I used to think of it as a day that I got double pay from the federal government. It's different, things have changed. Um, secondly is Father's Day. What a beautiful, beautiful um, duet. I cried. I was um, wondering why you hadn't done it before, and it turned out beautifully. Um, you must be proud, proud. And then there's, uh, let me see. Oh, I, I loved your, you've got some new music and I love the just when you think you got it all figured out. Um, you know, lots of the songs I can see that music is very important and you can speak through it. So, uh, this one's for Tim. Uh, remember Helen Reddy? That ain't no way to treat a lady, no way. Um, mm-hmm. I got some news for you. Let's talk about 4th of July being Independence Day and how important it is that we're independent. I can't believe it and I'm not sure how I put the pieces of the puzzle together. But um, Britney Spears has been on television and she, I mean, it's outrageous that someone will tell her whether or not she can have children, take out a, a physical conservatorship over you never mind a financial conservatorship. So if I go back to one of my other conversations, your mother had a conservatorship in Florida. I thought it was for Louie, and so I thought that's none of my business, and it makes sense because he was in a coma. She had to take care of his affairs, but it wouldn't still be open and continue. It wouldn't have taken 17 years. Um, they have placed us under conservatorship without our knowledge without any medical exams, without any doctor's visits, without any court hearings. I don't know how they could have done it. But I was, when I saw Britney Spears, I thought, how could that be? And I was wondering how they were stealing our money, how they could do that behind our back and not get caught. How, how could they, well, they, they're, they're pretending that they have every legal right to manage and handle our bodies and our money. So, it was clear to me because I already told you this story that I had my teratoma removed. And I told the doctor not to remove the other ovary um, that I was a childbearing age. And you know how to have more, I might, I, I'm interested in having more children. I thought I'd have four, um, you know, in my, when I was busy making plans and then life happened. And so um, I told him, and if you had to remove it, I would want to talk about freezing eggs. So I wake up and he's removed both ovaries and I no longer have a reproductive system. I remember thinking, how dare he make a decision that important for me? And then I realized, no, probably the conservator over my body said, she's 40 something, go ahead and room, you know, they had to consult them. There must be flags on our health insurance um, so that they have to contact us. And the other thing that it brought up was um, when I was, in New Orleans trying to meet you and I got run off. Um, I remember being at a doggy park next to a church and there was a, a judge and, and a female attorney. She had just argued some sort of um, a Supreme Court case. And I told him, oh, I'm, you know, singing the, singing the can't meet my sister blues. I'm, I'm trying to meet a twin sister uh, that lives here. What's her name? Lena Prima. I think she says, I think I... I may have done a case for her. Isn't she sort of uh, not altogether there? No. She's a, a professional singer. She's written books and she, you know, makes jewelry and leads a band. Uh, no, no, she's not. Ah, well, I. And then I thought, someone has convinced a judge that we're both completely incapable 
of handling our bodies and our financial affairs. And they've done so so they can have complete control. So when your mother passed, it must have passed to Louis. The reason I'm telling you this is because he's just recently moved to New Orleans. He did that because I said that Frank Savannah couldn't be the personal representative living in a different state. It doesn't work that way. Um, and so Louis like, you know, or someone said to him, get your A into New Orleans where you're going to bust us all. Um, and so either he filmed from New Orleans and says he's there to cover his butt, um, but he's got a lot more covering he's going to do. They are busted. So unless you're okay with a moron like your brother, you know, an alcoholic, coke-using, um, he's got lots of speeding tickets and uh, lawsuits, he doesn't pay his bills, he's had foreclosures. If you think for a minute that I would want someone inferior to me, intellectually and in every way, um, to be handling my financial affairs, you got another thing coming. I had to tell you, I've been stirring on it. I, in some ways, didn't want to um, tell you over the internet. I want this to be um, received in a way that it doesn't trigger things. But I believe once you know, we, we, how can you terminate or request an accounting or, you know, or get access to our money if we don't even know who the appointed conservatives are. I think that Rosella DeWolf might be mine, which is amazing that any judge would award the couple that has kidnapped a child the child's financial responsibilities. They must have, you know, either pushed in a mentally retarded person into the courtroom and said, yeah, I mean, she's, can we take her out? She's, she's not capable of, and the judge would immediately say, I understand, and then go through with it. I don't know who they presented, what kind of paperwork. I've never gone through any exams, psychological or physical, um, that would be connected to a uh, custodianship. So, um, ding, ding, ding. I think I figured it out. Um, if the letter didn't uh, trigger you, you know, seeing the handwriting of, of our father, and his words that he that he was counting the days to be with you just because we don't remember him does not mean he wasn't in our life and he didn't love us and the grand you know finale for that was that he left us his estate i won't even call us illegitimate children because in 1977 when he left his entire estate to us that was the day we did know we were no longer illegitimate he was acknowledging us uh, the funny thing is in his will, when he names us as the two daughters of my issue, that is because we have never used our legal names. Our birth names are very different than your stage name of Lena Prima. And, my, and so the best part of all is that every single action they took without our, our proper legal signature is going to be reversed. They're in a lot of legal trouble. I'm imagining that my life is going to get a little, you know, they're going to mess with me a little bit, but um, there we go. That's, um, if Tim's like, perfect. Tim has got to be working with Louie. And so the fact that your husband has been coordinating. He might be the business part of it, and they, he, he reports to Louie, and that's how they... Um, and I'm also concerned that you are singing um, and then paying royalties to the Primas for singing Louis Prima's songs, because he's not your father. So you may have signed an agreement where you're making $1,000 a night, but you're spending 10000 to sing Pennies from Heaven, whatever, you know, his music. Um, and then that gets paid out.